<laughs> I actually decided that um, it was going when it wasn't last time, so I created a whole video without the video going. <laughs> um, talking about intimacy, our intimacy quotient, yours and mine, all of ours. Like, let's look at our intimacy quotient and see how our awareness is about what we're intimate with. I know that intimacy has been hijacked, really, to mean something we do before in, you know, intercourse or something afterwards or both. But it's way, way bigger than that, way bigger. Intimacy is our connective tissue and it's how aware we are of that connective tissue. Can we pick up a glass of, yes, I make my own kombucha, and it's really, really good. Can we pick up a glass instead of just drinking whatever we're drinking, you know, that we actually like, we taste it, we're grateful for it. We feel like, mmm, yum, right? And something as mundane as your floor, your table, your beautiful computer, iPads, whatever it is, you know, our devices. Can we really connect with them? I mean, it's so wonderful that we can connect through them, right? Because here we are together. And I just want to find out, like, let's for a week, just really pay attention to our intimacy quotient and feel like, okay, this chair is supporting me. How cool is that? This is its life to be here for what anybody wants to come and sit down in it, whether they're exhausted or we're just having a meal. I'm sitting outside at our big table outside. Um, what is, you know, what is the purpose of this chair? To be there for us. What is our purpose? To connect to it and feel like, wow, <laughs> how wonderful that I have this chair out here, that I have these plants behind me that, you know, can dance in the wind and occasionally a little bougainvillea will float down or a butterfly will go by or a hummingbird or we've got these little toheys now that they don't fly very much, but they walk around. One let me get so close to him this morning. He was just eating some little plant in the yard. Um, so I wanna know what you've been more intimate with because when we are not intimate it brings up a whole lot of emotions that we don't really want anxiety hopeless depression you know fear uh, just jealousy comparison it's all those things that make us tight and, and disconnected the more intimate that we feel the more divine threads there are in our life the more aware. So it's like awareness and gratitude allow us to feel more intimate with the things in our life. Slowing down your breath, your motions, you know, how you walk, how you speak. Don't you love when somebody starts slowing their, how they speak down consciously? Feel like it's they're dropping it into your heart as opposed to talking like this and all of a sudden you're supposed to follow it and you just it makes us very anxious and uptight you know when somebody's talking like this it's like a tamagun so the more that we can slow down you're going to watch how you can affect everything around you because we entrain we entrain with our environments so see how you can create a truly intimate connected environment in your life we're going to connect on this this week, okay? So I look forward to being with you. Love you. It's so